After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. Hello friends, I'm Paul Hahn, coordinator of Mission in North America. These are the words of the Apostle John in his great series of divinely inspired visions in the book of Revelation. And the vision of what he's seeing is what's coming, what the sure and certain hope of the gospel is for us in the church, that we are a people who will be ultimately gathered around the Lamb's throne in new heavens and new earth from every tribe, from every tongue, from every place, from every culture, with every skin color and every different kind of background, all worshiping and celebrating the Lamb who was slain and who is now victorious, who reigns as King in glory. This is where it's all going. Jonathan Edwards, America's great preacher and theologian of the colonial period, said so long ago, if you really want to know a thing in itself, you study it in its largest fullness rather than its smaller aspects. So he said, if you want to know what an oak tree is, you don't so much study an acorn as you study a majestic oak that is perhaps hundreds of years old. In the same way, if we really want to know what the gospel is about, we study where it's going, that we are all one in Christ from all skin colors and languages and cultures and backgrounds and all places. We're one in Christ. So that should form everything we do in the church now. We should labor in our churches to be as diverse in a gospel way as possible, not a humanistic way, but in a gospel way, reaching to all kinds of peoples, making all kinds of peoples feel welcomed, having all kinds of peoples represented in our structures of leadership and of ministry. And this will prepare us to better engage the whole world around us with that kind of gospel oneness and hope, standing against injustice and racial violence and racial prejudice and promoting the life of the hope of the gospel in Jesus. We stand against those injustices and all other kinds of injustice, uh, injustices that take life and snuff out life and contort and twist life instead of promoting life, the life that is truly life in Christ. So church, let's consider where we're going, where all things are going in new heavens and new earth, and let us more and more become truly now driven by and filled by that great hope of gospel diversity. We at Mission in North America are having a series of conversations on racial brokenness and the hope of the gospel. We had a wonderful webinar last week with over 1,100 people uh, signing up for that. Um, you can catch that, uh, go back and catch the, the video of that on our web platforms. This coming Thursday, June 11th, uh, we will be led by our African American Ministries leadership, Howard Brown and Y. Plummer, uh, with a whole panel of African American leaders uh, continuing to help us carry that conversation forward on racial brokenness in this moment and yet where we have the hope of the gospel and how we step into that. Please sign up on the m &A website for that opportunity this Thursday. Thanks for being with us. The Lord bless you. May we know where we're going to a new heavens and a new earth with all kinds of peoples gathered around the throne of our Lamb being one in Him. Amen. Go in His peace and love.